a return to school, but with a difference. Excited, because it means, well, I can see my friends again, play some football. Um, not terribly excited about working, though. Just one bag for checking in. Cheap flights are opening up Europe to pupils from the southeast. Right then, get some Behave. Lots of work. Yeah. I mean it. Bye. Bye. It's seven in the morning at Chavagne College. A traditional English public school with a twist, it's in France. Dan is one of 36 pupils, two thirds of them British, taught in English in a school set up by English teachers, but in a foreign country. At first it seemed a bit odd, but now I've been here for a while, it just seems normal really. Um, I think I've learnt a lot and it's been an experience that I won't forget for a long time. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Tradition is everything. iPods are banned, the internet is frowned upon. This is old-fashioned education, revelling in it. The school was set up in France because buying a building there was cheaper. The man in charge says costs are low by losing the luxuries. And that means, across the board, um, a simpler, more wholesome uh, school life uh, where um, a lot of the candy floss of modern education is, is missing, if you like. And in some ways that's what makes the school, um, uh, I think, uh, a more intense experience for the boys. And uh, it also makes it cheaper. Drudas. French plays an important part in the classroom. Et encore. Dan has already done his GCSEs in French and Spanish yes. early. Translation, Arnaud? Boldness, boldness, and still boldness. Yes, yeah, still more boldness. It's when you come up to the school tower that you really get a sense of how this school is nestled in the heart of this sleepy French village. And for locals, it can be rather bizarre having a fiercely proud traditional English public school right here in France. The locals are now almost outnumbered by the pupils. It's a little bit strange, but I like that. Is it, is it, not, it is not a problem for me. It can be strange, too, for the parents, like Dan's mother and stepfather, both photographers, back home near Canterbury. A lot of people gave me a hard time about it. They made me feel very guilty that I was sending my child away to a foreign country to go to school, especially when there was a lot of local schools. Um, and I did find it hard. I cried over it, not knowing whether I was a bad mother. Um, but deep down, I knew that I was doing the right thing for Daniel and he was going to get the chance for good education. Religion here is the uniting theme, the aim to create a sense of community, though home can sometimes seem far away. What's the thing you, you miss the most about, about home? Everything. Just like um, lions, and friends and my parents. Yeah. English television. <laughs> and... That's mostly um, my parents and my friends. That's it. But any feelings of homesickness are lost by filling every waking hour to instill a sense of discipline. But here they believe by combining French and English with the strict traditions of the past, they're creating the school of the future.